Right guys, uh, today Digital Nest uh, uh, comes up with a video uh, wherein we are gonna teach you about how to generate an affiliate marketing, uh, how to generate an affiliate uh, tracking URL. It's a part of affiliate marketing. Uh, see, most of the business owners, uh, they, they does only few marketing techniques like SEO, AdWords, social media, and email marketing. But what is required is you wanted to track your employees uh, like for example if you are given your website URL uh, to the employee you would not trace like what are his efforts by the end of the day but if you can give him an affiliate tracking URL you can track what is his performance by the end of the day not just his performance but but for example you are sending a bulk emailers somewhere lakhs of mails you have sent and you wanted to track how many people are coming through emails to your site and how many people are clicking on the link and how many people are coming and uh, doing time pass on your site or other they are purchasing products on your site so if you wanted to track the performance of your campaigns or you wanted to track the performance of your uh, employers or you wanted to track the performance of your company so it's a it's always a better practice to create an affiliate url either it might be a for a person or it might be a for a campaign or it is uh, or it might be for tracking any uh, for any for any campaign that you wanted to run so this would be a best practice so how to generate an affiliate URL is just go to Google search and type URL builder. So type uh, <coughs> here you can see URL builder. So after typing this keyword uh, URL builder, uh, you will see the first uh, click on the first link. Right. Now, what what is it asking for? First, Google is asking you to gen, you to enter the website URL. For example, if I want to track <coughs> digitalness.in, so first, see for example, if I want to track my website visitors, just copy this. Right. Copy the URL and paste the URL here. And then, for example, uh, there are somewhere around 10 employees in my company. And today to one employee, I'm asking him to get conversions. So I I don't know how he's going to get. Maybe, maybe he may go to Facebook and he may post or he may post on Twitter or he may send a WhatsApp message to his friends or he may send an email to his friends. But probably I wanted to track because of his efforts, how many people are coming to my site and how many people are filling the forms or how many people are purchasing my products so what i would do is i would create a affiliate url so this we are we are at the second step first enter the website url and for example if i wanted to give a tracking url to srikant so let me enter the campaign source is srikant and the next one is campaign medium so if he's pulling traffic from Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or emails or through banner ads, so you can enter the medium, not necessary, not mandatory, but uh, these two options are required. And then the campaign name. This campaign name is meant for tracking. You can track the campaigns even in Google Analytics also. So it's always better to enter the campaign name. So campaign name I'm entering as Sri Kant. Sri Kant. And campaign medium on the top that you see, how he is pulling the traffic, it's up to you. If you wanted to give the name, you wanted to track an individual parameter, then you can, or else you can ignore this. But campaign name, please enter Srikanth so that uh, you can go to Google Analytics and track your campaign performance through Srikanth campaign, how many people are coming through, which source they are coming, and uh, how many people are clicking and how many people are how many page views you are getting how much how much time interval they are spending on your site as well as how many people are getting converted this all you can track uh, using this uh, campaign the next campaign term in case if he's using my affiliate link uh, for any paid keywords or he's giving uh, for example he's writing an article uh, the best digital marketing course institute in hyderabad the best digital marketing course if you had highlighted as an anchor text and if you had given anchor link to the link affiliate link then we can use the campaign term else and the next campaign content this is also not mandatory if you wanted to uh, track the keyword performance or the article performance from where you are getting link then you can enter the campaign term the next is campaign content for example to the same Sri Kant, if i can i he, for example he's coming with a blue color banner on his website to send traffic to my site as well as he's also coming with a 
red color banner to send traffic to my site so now i can enter campaign content red and i can give one uh, i can generate one affiliate url and i can use the same campaign source campaign name and i can enter blue and i can generate one more affiliate url so i'll give him two URLs so that i can track how many people are coming through the red color ad to my site and how many people are coming through blue color ad to my site so this is also not mandatory but if, but for according to me if one you have to enter the website this is mandatory campaign source is mandatory and campaign name if you enter you can track the performance on google analytics right these are the three parameters parameter one website url parameter two campaign source and uh, parameter three campaign name and if you wanted to track individual ad performance or keyword performance or from where the customer is coming and uh, then you can go for campaign medium term or content now you can see straight away there is an affiliate URL that has been generated. You can see this is www.digitalness.in UTM source is equal to Srikant and UTM campaign is equal to Srikant. This UTM source, UTM campaign are nothing but they are your tracking parameters. So now what I will do is you can copy this or you can convert this into a short URL. You can convert into a short URL and you can give it to Srikant. So now Srikant, he may go to n number of sites, he may post the link or he may write articles or he may post it on Facebook or he may run a campaign on Facebook or he may run an email campaign. But in the email campaign, uh, instead of book now, uh, if a person clicks on the book now, instead of routing it to directly entering www.distalist.in, he would give this as an anchor link. So we don't know from where he's going to get the traffic. So maybe I told him that if someone gets converted, on my site through your efforts i would be paying you 10 percent of the commission or 20 percent of the commission so now this is the url that I have generated for my publisher so i can copy this url you can copy the url here see let's check whether this url is working or not just control v you can see paste the url and see yes even if I type distalness dot in or even if I type UTM source recount or campaign, I have landed on the same site. Now let us go to Google Analytics. So in Google Analytics, of course, straight away it will not show you the data. But the time gap might be somewhere around four to six hours. But by tomorrow, whenever I open, I can go to Google Analytics. Yeah, I'm logging into my Google Analytics. Right. Let me go to all website data and to track your affiliate, uh, uh, if you want to track your affiliate partners or your publishers or to whom you had, uh, to whom, whomsoever you have given your links, just go to this option acquisition. So under acquisition, you'll find an option called campaigns. You can see the campaign here, right. Right. This is the campaign option. You'll find it in acquisition. Just go to this acquisition and then go to the campaigns. Straight away click on <coughs> all campaigns. So go to acquisition, then campaigns, then all campaigns. Let me click on all campaigns. Right. Now, here the campaign names would be listed. What is the campaign name that we have created here? Srikant. Right. So the Srikant name would be shown here. So we can track through you can see here Neetu is one of my employee I had given her a link and she had sent me how many total new users how many 231 people had come to my site and they did 254 sessions they have done and uh, the bounce rate is 77 percent pages per session is 1.36 they had visited either one or two pages and they had spent somewhere around 54 uh, seconds okay and uh, how many people got converted 1.18 percent people I mean they got converted means uh, from among 231 people who had come to my site one percent is a conversion rate now how many people fill the form total uh, i got the leads from neetu is three 
three people had filled the form through neetu efforts so i can for for each lady uh, for each lead in case if i had spoke to neetu that i'll pay you 20 rupees or 30 rupees so now she would get for 30 into 3 years she would make 90 rupees out of uh, get uh, out of uh, this traffic actually so similarly tomorrow now if srikanth can use this campaign he can use this campaign and he can go across the web anywhere and he can post and then i will go to google analytics and i can track the performance like it will show me instead of neetu or instead of remarketing or here mailer campaign it will show how many people came through uh, how many people came through srikanth efforts through srikanth and uh, how many how, how many uh, see what what are the number of sessions that we got what is the num- percentage of new sessions how many new users are coming how many people bounced because of its url and then how many pages they have viewed per session and then what how much time they have spent per session and how many people got converted and how many people fill the form now if i spoke to srikanth that i'll pay you 50 rupees per lead and here in the conversions in the goal tracking i can track how many people visited this thank you page if they had gone to the thank you page 50 into 50 rupees i can pay him 250 rupees per month so this is how to set up the tracking so let us go again from the scratch first go to google search and type url builder then enter the website name enter the website url after entering the website url to whomsoever you wanted to track enter the source and then enter the campaign name then generate the url and hand it over to the publisher now from the next day onwards sign into google analytics account go to acquisitions go to acquisitions tab acquisition and then there you will find an option called campaigns click on campaigns then go to all campaigns under all campaigns you will find the name srikanth or you will find the publisher name and you can track how and you can set up the goal and track how many people are uh, purchasing the products or how many people are filling the leads based on that you can pay the commissions yeah thank you very much guys hope you have learned some i hope you have learned actually how to uh, track affiliate urls <coughs>